have here is a roll former machine for the skins of the blades. And this machine here was built 100% here on our facility. This is not a machine you can go out and buy. So this is something that has to be built for specific use. So this is actually the table that the skins we lay in and then they go through the bender in that direction there. What you're seeing here, this trough here, is to keep everything in line. These are spring-loaded wheels that keep everything in line as it feeds through so it can't get off track as it goes through the bender. So as the skin comes down this direction, each one of these wheels, there's five wheels, at each point, as the skin is rolled through there, it strikes the bend 20 or 200 thousandths deeper each time. So it's a, it, by the time it gets to the end, it's an, it's an inch deep. These wheels, if you look at them, there's a side A, a side A, and a side B. So if you were to look at the profile of the blade, the top edge from the leading edge, the top has a much larger arc to it than the bottom side. So there is a specific bottom and top as they roll through. So what drives this system is this is actually an electric motor that drives a hydrostatic transmission out of a lawnmower riding tractor. So that's what we use to drive the system. Then all five wheels are tied together with chains from the back side, so they all rotate at the same speed. So we'll go ahead and load a skin in and we'll roll it through so you can see it. Move from the machine usually as we feed the machine. We'll take a marker and we'll mark A side or B side so we know the difference goes. Asymmetrical airflow. Yeah, asymmetrical airflow. And that's the top? This is the top. Okay. But when you look at it, you would never be able to tell the difference with your naked eye. But, there, but there is a difference. And the difference is going to come when you stick it in the mold and you pull this together, you're going to see there's going to be much more. Uh, for radius on the A side than there is on the B side. So just by looking as it comes out, can't tell. you can't tell the difference. And it's critical to do that before it comes out of this machine because when we go to the next step, we have to know what side is down to actually bend the reflex. So the, the next roll form is actually what it's going to do is it's going to bend this little reflex on the trailing edge of the blade. And this is a specific angle that it has to be at. And this is what, uh, as the blade flies through the air, you use your reflex to move your center of pressure either fore or aft on the blade so that the blade is, can be easily flown. So getting the right amount of reflex is an important thing. So this next machine, that's what it's gonna do is bend that reflex on there. Four drive wheels. These are actually wheels off of a, off of a skateboard that uh, we've put inner tube over top of to give us grip. So the skin will come in and these, this will pinch the skin and drive it forward. This one will pinch it and pull it through. Then these wheels here, if you look on the bottom, which is very difficult to see, that's actually, we refer to it as the knife. That's the piece that's actually making the bend. So in this case, we're striking the material twice. We're gonna bend it about 10 degrees the first time and about 12 degrees on the second one. And then this here is the die that the, that the bend rides in as it comes through. So we'll go ahead and load a piece in and we'll run it through. Now this particular machine is driven off of a, a, off of a DC motor and it has much reduction to it. We also have a speed controller here as well so we can control the speed how fast it goes through forward and in reverse. And as you recall, the, the top side of the skin was marked A as it came out of the roll former. That's the side that goes down because what we want is the reflex bent on this side only. 
This side folds into it, but this is the side that actually is going to get bent. So we're going to load that in with that side down. And as you can see, it comes forward so we get to our drive wheels here. And then we'll start the machine up and roll form that leading, or reflex edge on there. Oh, I see now. As, as uneventful as that seems, it is really, really critical that that bend has to be bent as much as it is and exactly where it has to be bent. So it's a, it's a big process. Mm -hmm. This is what you get. Mm -hmm. So in the mold, those two sides would come together. Ah, okay. So. okay. Yeah, and you can see the different radius. Mm -hmm. And you can see, like if you look at the very end here, this gap here, well, once that gets closed completely, that pulls a little bit more in here as well. But uh, That's why you need the mold. Right, that's why it has to be at a specific spot and a specific angle and then the mold can hold it into that shape of that yeah the next step would be to load this in the mold with the spar and then um, turn the oven on and wait for it to do its business <laughs>